I'm Yu Schiller, and welcome back to some more Pokemon Bata! Folks, today I shall be taking on another challenger, but this challenger has a bit of a different origin story. You see, I usually go on to certain discords and websites and whatnot and help people with trades that they want. This person was asking for a few different Pokemon. I assisted him with his trades, and in return, he gave me a shiny Eevee. I said, oh, no, 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 you don't have to... You don't have to do that, let alone a shiny female Eevee with a good nature. I, with its hidden ability, I can't, I can't accept that. You know, I did accept it because he was like, no, no, it's fine. It's whatever. I said, okay. So I took the shiny Eevee, but I felt it was only fair since he gave me such a valuable Pokemon that I challenge him to a battle. So he wants to play a set of BGC style matches and I figured... This is actually good that he wants to play VGC style matches. Also, our code's going to be 5577. Hopefully nobody else is searching for that code right now. But we wanted to play a set of VGC style matches, and I figured this is perfect because as of late, I've been using this gimmicky team utilizing a Musharna and a Drapion. And it's one thing to use that team against ranked battle players, you know, because you only get to play one match. But the fun and difficulty of VGC is that you have to play best two out of three. And you only have that surprise factor for the first match of a VGC set. So... In this best two out of three scenario, I have to try and win with this gimmicky team twice. So I can probably surprise them in the first game, but then I have to see if those surprises can still work in the second game. Point is, I'm trying to see if this team can be reliable in a VGC setting. So I'm going to go ahead and look for him, and we're going to see how this team plays out. And if it takes too long to find him, then I can always cut ahead. Here he is! His name is Jake, Nin Jake. Well, I'm going to go ahead and set the rules. So we've got... Battle Series 4, that's the most recent set of rules at the time of this recording. I could use a different set and probably still have it be okay, but, you know, we should use the most recent set of rules that allows more Pokemon. Okay, so we're going to go over to... I have two Musharna teams. I personally enjoy using this one a bit more. The other team doesn't hasn't had as great of results. This team has had some decent results, and I think I enjoy using it more anyway. It utilizes a Musharna that knows Stored Power, and a Drapion that knows Acupressure. And Musharna with Stored Power is just kind of fun, because you can go for Reverse Sweeps, which I've actually had on this series. So, although both teams have had wins, this team has won more, and I think could be more useful in a VGC best 2 out of 3 setting. So we'll go for this. And then we'll just have to see what Jake is bringing. So alright, Jake! What you got for me? What are you going to use against me today, huh? And here we go, moment of truth. Here's the money shot. He's got a Galarian, Darmanitan, Tyranitar, Togekiss, Rotom, Serena, and Rune Regis. Okay, so a well-rounded team. All competitively viable Pokemon. I don't see Rune Regis that often, but I, I know it can do some work. I hope he brings it. Okay, ask for me, what do I want to do? Hmm, the Galarian Darmanitan is the biggest threat. I definitely want to bring... Musharna? Do I want to start with Drapion? You know what I... Mm. Okay, don't start with Musharna. We'll start with Drapion and Weavile. My concern... The, the Darmanitan's a problem. Gudra can't take a hit from Darmanitan, but Lapras probably could. So maybe my last Pokemon should be Lapras, because even if he brings Tyranitar, he can proc my weakness policy. I, the, the Darmanitan just going to be so fast and so strong. I should know, I often use one. So, Tyranitar's not a big deal. Getting Aurora Veil set up might be good. All Creamy might have been okay, but I, I think Lapras is my best play. So, we'll see. We'll see what he plans to do. But otherwise, I've got Weavile and Drapion in the front. Up against, what do we got? Darmanitan Serena. See, he knows Darmanitan's a good play to start. Oh, yeah, they're both shiny. Very nice, very nice. I can respect that. All right, Drapion and Weavile. So, I have to make a pretty big brain play right here. That Darmanitan, Galarian Darmanitan, even you know when Darmanitan usually holds a Choice Scarf because it hits like a truck. And to give it a Choice Scarf would make it the fastest thing on the field. So I could go for Icy One to try and slow it down. It's already going to be faster than Weavile, and if I had to guess, it's going to home in on Weavile. Problem is, is it going to Dynamax? If it's not going to Dynamax, I would rather use Fake Out. And then, if it is Dynamaxing, I definitely want to knock the Choice Scarf off of it. But I just, I, I'm going to go for this play. I don't think he's going to Dynamax it. I think he's going to save that for something in the back. So I'm going to go ahead and go for Fake Out. Which of course won't work. That's the whole reason you even start with Serena in the first place. And I'm going to survive thanks to my Focus Ash. Yep, Darmanitan hits like a truck. So whatever he's sending in though, I'm going to knock the item off of it. 
We'll have to see what Serena's gonna go for. Should have gone for Icy Wind. Now that it would have mattered, he would have U-turned anyway, but at least would have slowed down Serena. I don't know how fast Serena is in the in perspective to Drapion. My Drapion's not super fast, but sometimes it's faster than I think. Okay, Togekiss. That one's not shiny. Very well. We'll use knockoff. Alright, what were you holding? Safety goggles? Scope lens! Sorry, why, why would it be safety goggles? Scope lens is actually what I was trying to think of. Alright, Weavile is down. So he he definitely wanted Weavile out of there. But Drapion was faster than Serena, which is good to know. Alright, well, in that case, I guess it's time to deploy the Drapion Mishona strategy. So, Serena is a physical attacker, and Togekiss actually losing its scope lens is huge. It's probably a super luck Togekiss hoping for critical hits, which is bad for a Pokemon that's trying to set up its defense. But, for the time being, we'll go ahead and use Curse, because it can definitely take a hit from Togekiss. We'll see if it can take a hit from Serena. Using Curse, I mean, Mishana is already going to be the slowest thing on the field, boosting my attack and defense. I think will be beneficial for the Pokemon he has in the back, because he's already shown me that he has Darmanitan, so Mishana would need to be able to take a hit from Darmanitan in order to win this fight. Okay, took that fairly well. There's the knockoff. Let's see what you were holding. Well, wow, that actually did a decent chunk. Alright, you're not holding anything. Okay, because as far as I'm concerned, whoa, what did that lower? My attack. Okay, well that, that at least procs my key berry, so I get a defense boost from that. I don't care about my attack being lowered, I care about my stats going up at all. My attack being lowered does kinda suck, but for every stat boost I get, I mean, it makes my stored power stronger in the end anyway. Whereas getting a stat drop doesn't, doesn't make anything go down, so, great. Okay, in that case, we're gonna go for Acupressure onto Musharna, and then we're gonna, I guess at this point, we'll Moonlight, because some of those hits are dealing more damage than I anticipated, and I need to have as much health as I can, but when he inevitably brings Darmanitan back in. Yawn. Unfortunate. Alright, we'll do what I can. There's the Accu Pressure. Give me Defense Boost or Special Defense Boost. I'll take either. Defense or Special Defense. Attack? Alright, whatever. Aromatherapy. What? Oh, okay. Isn't that supposed to remove status conditions? Did he think I was gonna poison him or put him to sleep or something? Probably. But I'm slower, so a little, a little confused. Whatever. Alright. So Musharna's healed up, and Musharna's gonna go to sleep this next turn. So, based on the rest of his team build, it seems mostly physically offensive. So if I take down Togekiss right now, that could definitely help me. And then we'll go for Calm Mind, just in case. Because his Pokemon in the back were Rune, Regis, and Tarvanitar. And Darmanitan's definitely in this fight. He just wants to use Yawn, okay. So he's got a lot of physical attackers. So the more I boost my physical defense, the better. Let's see how much that does. It does not KO. That's okay. Play rough again. On to Drapion. Alright, Drapion takes that fairly well because Drapion's already physically defensive. You've got a Calm Mind. Okay. We should be okay for a little bit. Musharna's gonna go to sleep here. Now, Drapion has one more turn to stay awake. It's just a matter of, do I want to leave Drapion in? And have him go to sleep the next turn, or do I want to switch him out? Because the only Pokemon I can switch him out into is going to be Lapras. So I think I'd rather Accupressure... Or, no, 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 yeah, Accupressure, Musharna, and then just sack Drapion here, and then hope for the best with Musharna, because Musharna could definitely take a hit here. So, we'll go for Curse, hope for the best. Musharna's definitely not going to be able to do anything this turn. There's the Dazzling Gleam, don't get a critical hit. Okay, Accupressure, come on, give me Defense or Special Defense, come on. What do we got? Or Evasiveness. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about! I'll take Evasiveness. Evasiveness is great. Cool. If you can't hit me, it's even better. I guess that, uh, that should always be the best stat to boost. It doesn't do much in the way of Dynamax moves, because Dynamax moves will always lock on, but otherwise, this is great. You keep using that Dazzling Gleam and miss, why don't you? Alright, now, I'm ready for Drapion to go down. And, I was using Curse with Musharna earlier. Curse again? I just have to be careful and make sure Musharna doesn't get stuck against Tyranitar, because then I can't win. So if he has Tyranitar in the back, oh, Serena's going back, okay. If he has Tyranitar in the back, oh, it's Rotom, okay. Then I should be good. A shiny Rotom at that, alright. Alright, I can dig it. Alright, there's the Dazzling Gleam. Okay, Drapion's down. I was ready for that. No worries, Drapion. You did what you needed to do. You boosted the evasiveness of my Musharna. That is fantastic. Luck better be on my side. Now, I haven't Dynamaxed yet. Neither has he. I know I'm only down to two Pokemon and things look kind of grim, but remember, my Musharna has plus two defense and plus one special defense, and we're about to get the Aurora Veil up and hopefully take down Togekiss in the process. So at this point, I, I already forgot that he could have had Rotom in the back. So we're, we're going to try and heal up just in case. It's a good thing I got that one combine in there. 
I was so concerned about physical attackers, but I was so glad I was dumb. And was like, oh, I'll use Calm Mind anyway. No, we're good. We're golden. Okay. So, boom. Got this going. Now, the Togekiss is probably going to go for Yawn again. And there's only so much I can... Well, no, I can set up Electric Terrain, right? I can set up Electric Terrain, and that would make it so that my Pokemon can't go to sleep. If I'm not mistaken. Although, I think Electric Terrain needs to be set up before Yawn is activated. So, we'll see in a second. Let me see. So, we've got you using Dark Pulse. Fascinating. Okay. All right, that still did a lot. Okay, there's the Yawn. All right. Well, let's get that Togekiss out of here. So, there's G-Max Resonance, which will take out Togekiss. Very good. All right. Still got to deal with the Darmanitan in the back, but both my Pokemon on the field should be able to take a hit. Musharna has defense boosts. Lapras is physically defensive. And if Darmanitan dares to use a super effective hit on Lapras, my weakness policy will go up. Oh, okay. I'm awake. There's the Moonlight. All right. Very good. I needed that. Definitely needed that. All right. Bring me to full health. Close enough. Okay. So that leaves Darmanitan and Serena. Now, he's probably going to send in Serena next. Which is also A-OK -okay because both Rotom and Serena would definitely have moves that would be super effective toward this Lapras. So by all means, please, please proc my weakness policy. <sighs> and then I have the Aurora Veil up so they should both be able to take a hit regardless. It's just do I want to go for stored power with Musharna just yet or do I want to keep stat boosting? That's what I don't know. Is now the time to strike? Not sure. We'll Max Geyser and then we'll... Hmm. Okay. I don't... No, let's see. Two, four, six, eight. I'm at plus eight for stat boosts. All right. That should be a decent amount for stored power. So let's use that onto Darmanitan and hope, with, hope that I can just take out Darmanitan right here. So he is Dynamaxing. And it, it seems like it is going to be the Darmanitan. Although it could also be the Rotom. It's in a repeat ball, so it could be either. But the fact that he waited this long, it is Darmanitan. Yeah, that's to be expected. It probably was holding a Choice Scarf. Is holding a Choice Scarf. I never actually knocked it off. But thankfully, both my Pokemon on the field are physically defensive, so hopefully they can both take a hit. Let's see what his plan is. Let's see, there's Dark Pulse again. Mishana avoids it thanks to the evasiveness boost earlier. Max Knuckle, okay, on the Lapras. Take it like a pro, Lapras. Ooh, good girl. All right, that procs my weakness policy. Very good, very good. Okay. So there's the weakness policy. Now, this probably still won't take out Darmanitan. But with Musharna's stored power afterward, I should be able to take it down. So here we go, Max Geyser. If it does one hit KO, I won't complain, but it probably won't. Okay, yeah. He probably does have some defense EVs on it or something. Because I feel like that Max Knuckle should have done a lot more damage. So let's see, stored power. And it was enough to take it out! Alright! Awesome job! Awesome duo between Lapras and Musharna. Okay, so that leaves Serena and Rotom. Now Musharna... Did a lot of damage to that Darmanitan, so maybe I should just go for store of power from here on out. Lapras is asleep, which is unfortunate. It means this next turn of Gigantamax will most likely be wasted. I don't think Lapras can wake up immediately. Maybe it can. I don't know. We'll see. Let's just go for it. Let's do... Max Lightning, I guess? On to... No, it doesn't matter. Max Guard? Just to see. Max Guard? Let's see. And then stored power onto Serena, because I feel like that'd be a guaranteed KO, and that's more important right now. Let's get it off. Yeah, so Lapras is definitely asleep. That's okay. All right, so there's the Thunderbolt. Okay, it did a lot. I feel like it did more than the Max Knuckle, but whatever. Trop Kick. Yeah, you want Lapras out of there. I don't blame you. I don't blame you. Weakness policy, Lapras is a threat. Lower my attack. Whatever. All right, stored power. Let's see if that's enough to take up Serena. Hopefully it is. It is. All right, awesome stuff. Whew. That only leaves Rotom. Now, this this isn't over. He could use Dark Pulse and get a critical hit. He could use Thunderbolt and get a critical hit. The odds are for me, but I just have to be careful. So, Rain makes Thunder always hit, and we'll go for Stored Power. The, Lapras will probably, probably remain asleep this turn, and Stored Power probably won't one hit KO, but we'll see. Let's see. Thunderbolt. Lapras is still alive. Still asleep. All right. It's good that it can st it can still take one more hit because it means he'll have to lock onto Lapras one more time. Doesn't matter! Stored power was enough to take it out. Woo! All right. He's got a good team. My stored power stuff worked out. Getting the evasiveness boost definitely helped. That's only game one. 
That is only game one. The fun of VGC is that it's best two out of three, so he has a chance of redemption. Now, we are going to play with the same rules. I'm going to play with the same Pokemon. Whether or not I'll bring the exact same four Pokemon to the next battle, I'm not sure now that he knows my stored power strategy. But it's in these best two out of three matches that I feel it's important to always try to win the first match. Winning the first match is the most important because it's the only match where you have any sort of surprise factor. And you can try and get into his head. He has to win this next match. It's nice to have the cushion as well. Okay, as for the music, we'll change that to... T... Uh, Bead? Team Yo Captain? Oleana? Oleana. We'll do Battle Tower and Oleana. Okay. Oleana's theme is so good! Okay. So, let's see. Same, similar deal. Darmanitan's still going to be the biggest threat. Rune Regis, I want to see it, but I doubt he's going to bring it. I still think bringing Lapras is a good idea. It's just do I want to start the same. Drapion. Weavile can't use Fake Out, but I still think Drapion Weavile in the beginning is a safe bet. Gudra would come to a standstill with Tokus. Darmanitan's just a problem. But Gudra will be good against the Rotom that Serena. Uh, oh, Creamy probably wouldn't be able to do much. I just don't think I could run the same Mushana strategy again now that he knows it. So I, I feel like the last Pokemon's got to be Lapras, right? Lapras would just be so good. Getting that weakness policy proc'd and taking physical hits. Alright, yeah, I don't think I can do the Musharna strategy twice in a row. He would just home in on Musharna and be like, Nope! I see you trying to boost all those stats, and I'm gonna shut that down. So, here we go. Now we've got the Oleana theme, so you know it's different. And Musharna's not here, but Gudra will be. So, we'll see if he decides to start with Serena again. If he doesn't, Fake Out could be safe. Although, he could always switch into Serena. I don't know. It's whatever. Rotom and Togekiss. No, he did not start with Serena. In fact, he's starting completely differently than into the previous match, although he did have Togekiss and Rotom in the previous match. Let's see what we've got. So, Togekiss is obnoxious. I can go for Fake Out and try to prevent it from using Follow Me, which I feel like it's going to do. So, we'll use Knock Off on Rotom, Fake Out onto Togekiss. That should be safe. I doubt he's going to switch into Serena just to prevent me from using Fake Out, but you never know. I think he would go for follow me, or maybe he would just go straight for Dazzling Gleam. But regardless, it won't attack this turn. Thunderbolt. Okay, on to which Pokemon? Drapion. Okay, Drapion takes the hit. Togekiss flinches. We got the knockoff. What were you holding? Ah, oh, that did a lot. Weaky Berry. Okay, so you wanted to just heal yourself. Understood. Good to know that you're not holding Assault Vest, though. So, I guess what I could do... We'll use knockoff on the Togekiss. And then... Just beat up onto Rotom while all four of my Pokemon are alive, because maybe this could take it out if Knockoff did that much. Although, my Weavile doesn't have full EVs in attack anymore. I took a few of them away in favor of some defense EVs, and because my Weavile is formerly being paired with Lucario, and I didn't want to deal too much damage to Lucario. So maybe Cross Poison and then Icy Wind? I'm, I'm like ready to... I'm ready for Weavile to go down right here. Let's see, Icy Wind... Does not connect with Togekiss, that's fine. I mainly wanted it to hit Rotom. So, Togekiss is not going for Follow Me. Is it going to go for Yawn again? What's your plan? Or Dazzling Gleam. Got a critical hit. Did, still barely did anything, but it's fine. Okay, lowers your speed. Okay, Togekiss goes for Dazzling Gleam. Okay. Both my Pokemon are alive! Critical hit on Drapion. Wow, okay. Drapion is faster than Rotom now. Cross Poison does not take it out. Doggone it. And then there's the Thunderbolt onto Drapion. Okay. Well, Weavile is still going to be the fastest thing on the field, so it should be able to take out Rotom right here. It's just that the Togekiss is a problem. What, uh, does it know? Follow me? I don't know. Alright, we'll send in Gudra, though. Gudra was brought specifically to take care of these two Pokemon. <laughs> and Serena. So, we'll see what we can do here. We'll do... Weavile's beat-up can probably take out Rotom. So, let's just go for that. It would only be three attacks. No perfect EVs in attack, but... Let's see... There's hit number one. Okay, this is get, barely going to do it. Woo! There you go. Rotom's down. Very good. All right, and then there's the Dazzling Gleam again. All right, yep, that's still a problem. Weavile's out, so I was ready for that. Critical hit. Okay, wait. But if that's all it did for a critical hit, there wasn't too much. Like, yeah, that did about a third of my health. But it did more than a third, actually. But that was a critical hit. So that means if you were to average a regular hit, it wouldn't do too much. And you are you are holding that item that boosts your critical hit ratio, and your ability probably is super luck. But I can probably shut this down right here. So your special defense has been dropped, so you're going to go down this next turn. 
Let's see what his next Pokemon is. That's going to determine what Lap Lapras targets this next turn. So what do we got? Rune Regus! Love it. I'm so glad you brought it. Is that shiny? It is shiny. Nice. Okay, well, it is a Ghost Ground type Pokemon. If I Acid Spray it, I can be able to take it out the next turn with Lapras. I need to double check. Gudra is faster than my Lapras, right? I'm fairly certain, but I want to double check. So let's see. Okay, Gudra has 100, Lapras has 80. So Gudra, you Acid Spray Rune Regus, and then Lapras can Gigantamax and take down either Togekiss or Rune Regus this turn. I suppose the smarter option is Togekiss. Because Togekiss is just going to keep getting Dazzling Gleam, keep getting critical hits, and it's already at minus 2 special defense. So I could take down either, but I'm choosing to take down Togekiss right here. So, I'm Gigantamaxing. I don't think he's Dynamaxing. If he is, he's Dynamaxing Rune Regus, which would be curious, but we'll see in a moment. Alrighty. Boom, Gigantamax Lapras. Now, Rune Regus, if I'm not mistaken, is the slowest thing on the field. If it's anything like Kofagrigus, it's very slow. But we'll see in a moment. We've got... Going for Yawn, okay. In hindsight, I should have expected that and used uh, my my electric Dynamax move, but it's okay. Lower your special defense by two stages. Okay, very good, very good, very good. And then Lapras, you take out Togekiss right now. Okay, I guess it's fine. Togekiss still would have been faster and gotten the Yawn off anyway. So there, took it out. No more Yawns. No more Yawns. Now, what Pokemon did you bring in the back? Is it Tyranitar? Because I'm inclined to believe that it is. You're probably going to go for Rock Slide or something, right? But let's see what Rune Regus does. Disable! Oh, were you targeting Lapras? Because you can't disable a Dynamax move, as far as I know. Interesting. Rune Regus with Disable. I, I like fighting Rune Regus. I just, I'm not used to fighting him. Alright, and then Shiny Tyranitar. Okay, so the only thing on your team that wasn't Shiny was Togekiss. But I don't blame you, because Shiny Togekiss looks so similar to regular Togekiss. Funny story. Here, let me let me focus real quickly. Uh, and then Max Geyser onto Rune Regus. Because to Tyranitar might be weakness policy. Okay, funny story. I actually caught a shiny Togekiss from a raid, and I didn't know it was shiny at the time. It just sat in my PC box for, I guess, a couple weeks at the minimum. And I didn't know it was shiny until I actually had to move it around in my PC box because its shiny form looks so similar. Shiny Togekiss, man. Shiny Togekiss. But people will use them. Togekiss is a very popular Pokemon right now, but hey, look at this. I'm fighting a shiny Tyranitar and a shiny Rune Regus. I'd rather have that. That's more fun to me. I mean, shiny Tyranitar is fun too, or is common too. Shiny Rune Regus isn't super common, but I, I love seeing it here. All right, let's see. He's going to Dynamax the Tyranitar if I had to guess. Seems that way. Let's see. They've been doing all those raid battles recently where you can catch Tyranitar and Togekiss and Rotom, and I think that's how he built this team here. And because the raid battles are so common, it makes it more probable that you'll get a shiny variation of them. So, yeah. Tyranitar, let's go. Okay, so there's the Acid Spray. Gotta be careful in case it is holding a weakness policy. So I'll try and use Acid Spray again the next turn and take it out there. And then Max Rockfall. Oh yeah, I just realized! You don't have Sandstream! Interesting. Okay. Yeah, that's Tyranitar's default ability. So I feel like he definitely caught this in a raid if it has the hidden ability. And it's shiny. But he could have bred it too. Okay, well in any case, there's my weakness policy. So this should definitely take out Rune Regus right here. Cool. Alright, let's go. And then I'll actually shut down the sand as well. Very good. Now, if I use Gudra's Acid Spray one more time, and then I use Max Geyser again, that should be enough to finish up this Tyranitar. So boom, Rune Regus is down. Loved seeing it. Loved seeing a shiny one, no less. Gooja's asleep. I already forgot that it got hit by Yawn. But whatever. It is what it is. We'll just try and go for Dragon Pulse then. And then Max Max Geyser and hope that you're not holding a weakness policy. We'll see. Even then, you can only attack one Pokemon at a time. So if Lapras doesn't take you out this turn, one of them will take you out the next turn. So let's see. Gooja's still asleep. Max Rockfall again. No, I'm not, I'm not letting you get away with the sand. I'm going to shut that back down. Okay, you went after Gudra, okay. That's probably smarter, actually. This could put me in trouble. Because if you're holding a weakness policy, you'll almost definitely take out Lapras this next turn. Okay, Gudra's out. No worries, girl. Alright, Max Geyser. Here we go, is it enough? It is enough! It is enough! Love it! Weakness policy. 
Lapras against minus two Tyranitar. I should have expected it to be enough. I don't know. Sometimes these Tyranitars are bulky. Good stuff, Ninjake. Good stuff. What a fun team. Fun that they're almost all shinies too. Awesome. Well, I didn't use Musharna that match, but I used Musharna in the previous match. And it's also a Drapion team with that Accupressure, so I should stop calling this a Musharna team. It's just easy to refer to it that way because no, not many people use Musharna. Anyway, Ninjake, thank you very much for the battle. And thank you again for giving me that Eevee earlier. And folks, if you want to battle me, whether it's in a best 2 out of 3 format or whatever, there's a form you can fill out in the description down below that allows you to submit a battle request. For now, that wraps up this video of Pokemon Bata, and I'd like to thank you all for watching. I hope to see you on future videos. Bye-bye, humans! Whoosh! Hey, thank you for watching my video all the way to the end. If you want to know what other types of videos I plan to make, or if you just want to try and keep in touch with me, you can either subscribe to my YouTube channel here by clicking the button down below, or you can follow my Twitter account, at RealYoShiller. I post previews, and I post when I'm going to events, and if you want to interact with me, that's probably the best place to do so. Either way, I appreciate any and all support that you guys have, and I hope to see you all in the future. Woohoo!